Video ads are, of course, adverts that are videos in themselves, and this means they can be integrated much more seamlessly into the way that YouTube operates. These are the main types of adverts on YouTube and the ones that we're going to be focusing on. Again, though, there are actually multiple different types of video ads for YouTube. YouTube calls this True View and aims to give both the user and the advertiser more control over their campaigns as a result. Choose this wisely, as the type of video ad that you choose is also going to impact on the options available for you in terms of your destinations and the cost. An in-stream advert, for instance, is a video that will appear prior to the start of the target video. These pre-roll ads are like the adverts that play in a cinema before the main feature, but there is one key difference that benefits both the advertisers and the users, which is that the videos are skippable. As an advertiser, you can elect to make your video skippable after the first five seconds of the video. If the user clicks skip, then you don't have to pay for the video and the viewer isn't subjected to a message that doesn't relate to them. This makes your content much more targeted because people won't watch a long video all the way through if they're not interested in the subject matter and thus you'll avoid paying for those views. If you're savvy though, you might now be thinking that perhaps there's a way for you to avoid ever paying, you know, by making your video 100 minutes long so that no one watched it through to the end. Well, nice try, but actually, so long as viewers stick around for 30 seconds, you'll be paying for a view. An in-slate ad is only a little different to an in-stream ad. The key differentiating factor here is that the advert will be interspersed throughout the video that the users are watching. And this means that your video will appear at preset points during another video that the video creator has chosen. This lets the creator set up ad breaks in their content, and it also means that your video is going to appear on longer content rather on short 30-second videos. In-search ads, meanwhile, are adverts that appear in the search results above the organic results. These ads normally have a little ad label next to them as well, but otherwise they look like one of the videos on the channel with a little thumbnail. In-search ads behave a little differently from other videos on YouTube and from other adverts. This is because clicking on one of them will actually take the user to your YouTube channel where the video will play automatically. You can't then link this to your landing page, unfortunately, so it's less suitable for making direct sales, but much more suitable for creating a large number of subscribers and helping you to build trust and authority with your brand. This is your chance to demonstrate the kind of value and information that you're able to deliver and to show off all the other videos that you have on your channel. You can alternatively set these videos to show simply as regular videos, in which case your visitor will just simply watch them as they would any other video. They'll be able to see more videos from you and your channel name, next to the ad label, in the top right of the screen. When you create in-search video ads, there are a few more things to consider as well. For one, your advert can also appear in the sidebar of other videos and as suggested videos. When someone clicks on your advert here, it will play just as any other video would, and this is another opportunity for you to get more exposure. Likewise, your videos can also appear over the top of video homepages. So if a user logs in and sees their recommended videos, your ad may appear above that in a similar manner to an in-search ad and they might choose to visit it. Another option to consider is that you can add captions and annotations to your videos, which can be a better way to link to external pages. This is actually a way that you can circumvent the limitations of in-search ads as you can use these captions to link directly to landing pages or your website. Of course, this means that you can also blur the lines between your regular videos and your adverts. For instance, you could use an in-search video ad that takes visitors to your channel, and from there they might watch your video and then see some of your other videos, which include captions and annotations linking to your landing pages or e-commerce stores.